My name is uh, Ben Ambadi. I'm the uh, Chief of the Division of Neurosurgery and the Director of the Brain Tumor Program at City of Hope. It was during high school when my father suggested that I go into medicine, so uh, I decided to apply to medical school. I used to run by the neurosurgery operating room, and they always had a sign, you know, do not disturb, do not come in, quiet please. And I thought to myself, that was an opportunity to learn what a neurosurgeon does, and I changed my rotations, and they loved having students, because nobody would sign up for neurosurgery, so they accepted me as a student, and I fell in love with uh, the field. Neurosurgery has, has changed a little bit, but what has really advanced us is the imaging. So we can map the brain, understand where the functional areas are, the areas that correspond to the speech or motor movement or sensory. We uh, input that information into a device called the navigation system. And then during surgery, for some of the uh, surgeries that I do, sometimes we uh, stimulate the brain to confirm those locations, important structures, and try to stay away from those uh, during the operation. Now sometimes, uh, for example, speech areas cannot be imaged or, or monitored during surgery very well, so in those cases we wake up the patient in the middle of the uh, operation, we ask him to speak and we ask him to move. Uh, Steven, this is uh, where the tumor was, okay? Yeah. It's all out, okay? Uh, yeah, it's all out, that's where it was, but that's where the tumor was, right here. It's It was five or six years uh, into my career as a neurosurgeon when I was in uh, the University of Wisconsin uh, when my dad called um, and said, you know, I'm having some numbness in my arm what should I do? And I was um, far away from him and I said, get an MRI of your brain and send it to me. And as soon as I opened up that file uh, and I saw the tumor in the brain, uh, I knew exactly what was going on. But unfortunately, it was a malignant brain tumor, a malignant glioma. He lived uh, for almost a year after the initial diagnosis. And, and looking back, uh, it was uh, very ironic that he was the one who, who told me to go into medicine. Before that, um, I was a surgeon. I uh, had done thousands of brain surgeries, and uh, many of them were the same. But after that experience, I saw the other side of um, having a brain tumor. You know, I was on the family side as well. And it gave me a better um, understanding of what the families, what the patients go through. I think that really completed me as a surgeon and has motivated me to do more than just the surgery. And that's one of the reasons I decided to come to City Folk, to, to work with other scientists, other clinicians, to uh, take some of these novel treatments and take them to the next level. But one of the projects that I'm really excited about is the device that we've invented. And what it does is it creates a cavity within the tumor that would give us an opportunity to release uh, the nanoparticles that we're designing, the engineered T cells, the engineered stem cells, or our other uh, treatments right into the tumor itself. The device will, will transform the way we do uh, brain tumor treatment. My research uh, gives me hope.